Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Life Happened, the place where people send in their very personal life stories for us to share with you. My name is Emma. Stories are important. They help us to navigate our world and connect with others. You'll want to listen to this story until the end when I give my own thoughts and opinions, in addition to a couple of quotes about today's letter. Today's story is from Maggie, and the name of the author has been changed to protect her identity. Dear Emma, my name is Maggie, and I am from a low-income family living in a provincial town. I do not like my job, but it was the only way to earn enough money to care for my family. My parents passed away when I was young, so my grandparents took care of me until I reached 18. I had to work to support myself and my grandparents. I was also very determined to study, even though I had been working since childhood. I passed the high school graduation exam with a good grade, but did not have enough money for further education, so I took part-time jobs at many places to earn more money. There were many times where I worked two jobs till midnight just to buy dinner for me and my grandparents, who are both 70 years old now. I love them very much because they were the ones who took care of me since I was a baby. Note how amazing and commendable you are for caring for your grandparents. After giving up on my wish to study independently because of my financial constraints, I thought it was time for me to marry a man who could take care of me. I have two men on my list who proposed marriage to me at the same time. One is rich, but he is very arrogant, while the other is a poor worker with an income similar to mine. However, he carries himself with confidence and has great respect for elders as well as youngsters. I am very picky, and I would not accept the arrogant man just because he is rich. However, the impact of the financial aspect in this town is powerful. Women looking for a husband think that having money can solve their problems and provide a better life. I have no problem having many houses or buying luxury cars, but it doesn't make me happy when my man doesn't respect others. Note, that's true. Even though money can make our lives easier, it cannot buy us happiness. I want a person who has his wits and able to care for my grandparents and me. The poor man is reliable as well as diligent. Every penny in his hand seems to belong to me only, making me feel like we are already married even though we haven't even officially tied the knot. As time goes by, I start feeling that I love this man more and cannot give up on him no matter what anyone says about him. Besides, he loves me with all of his heart. To make our relationship work, he is willing to change his job to earn more money and to study further. My heart says that he seems like the right one for me. Note, if your heart is telling you this, then why even consider the man whose pockets are so deep? However, this marriage choice that I have to make has come at the most challenging time. Although he is willing to offer everything, I cannot marry him now because he does not have enough money to support my grandparents and me. If I get married and quit my job to take care of my family, it will cause financial problems. Note, why would you have to quit your job if you married him? I love him sincerely, but I am scared of what could happen in the future if I chose to marry him because his salary isn't enough to care for the both of us. I call my rich boyfriend for support, which he also offers me because of his will to marry me, and the support will stop once I get married to the man I truly love. I wish my main boyfriend could get a better job, but he doesn't have a degree. I don't know if it will be easy for us when we start our family because he is yet to get the new job he promised to get. Note, then don't quit your job. Put off starting starting a family, and save for your boyfriend's degree. Now this reminds me of the books and their audio versions we have listed in the description box below for your reference in regards to Maggie's story. And now would be a good time to hit the like button and subscribe to Life Happened. Now back to our story. I don't want to marry my rich boyfriend because he is proud, but he gives me anything I need before asking. He also promised to sponsor my education and make me feel comfortable. He is a good man, but he appears to be so arrogant. He has no respect for elders and does not talk to poor people at all. He seems to look down on them because they are poor. I do love him, but I cannot accept his attitude towards others. Note, you mentioned you come from a low-income family. So why is this rich man with you if he looks down on people less fortunate than he is? Does he look down on you as well? Or would he if you ever married him? Would he hold that against you? Just a thought. I consulted with my grandmother, and she said that everything would be all right if I married for true love. She can't help me much, though. Besides, she is 70 years old now, and I need her support in these difficult times. 
note, of course you do. My problem is not really about money, because even though the poor man isn't rich, he is kind and supportive. But I am afraid of what could happen if we don't get along well and something terrible happens to him. Note, we can never be 100% sure of the future, but with love, many things can be overcome. I don't know who to marry out of the two because love alone is not enough. A successful marriage needs a strong family background as well. I am afraid that if my husband gets into an argument with his boss over work one day, our whole family will be affected. Or even before then, I am afraid of how we can get enough money to cater for our kids when we finally choose to have them. Although I love my poor boyfriend more than the rich one, when we walk in the streets, people look at us and talk behind our backs saying, look at her, she doesn't even know how to choose between men. As a woman, all this makes me very sad and disappointed in life. What should I do? I hope you can help me solve my problem or give me some advice, please. Please help me. Thank you very much. Dear Maggie, thank you for sharing your story with Life Happened. Now, I will give my thoughts and opinions as to Maggie's dilemma. I am not a therapist, but have lived life, so my feelings are not to be misconstrued as advice. And for however it may help, I did graduate summa cum laude in writing and studied psychology and education. Now, you may disagree with me on this subject, and that's perfectly fine. You are more than welcome and encouraged to leave your comments and advice below in order to give Maggie some guidance. Maggie, it is my belief that you are very much in love with your hardworking, stable, considerate, respectful boyfriend. Apparently, he doesn't earn enough money for the both of you and to support your grandparents. My question is, as I asked earlier, why would you have to quit working? With two incomes, you are more likely to continue supporting your grandparents as well as, say, for your boyfriend's education and degree. There's nothing wrong with waiting to start a family, and the money you save could also also go to parenting. If you love and care for one another, you can work this money issue out together. With love, all things are possible. Now, I still don't understand why you are still considering marrying the rich guy. He doesn't at all sound like an appealing alternative, so I assume it's his money you seek. You'd be selling yourself off to someone who is not a likable character. Maybe it's time you stop taking money from him and let him go. Also, as far as work is concerned, perhaps there's another position for you in town to earn extra income in place of your current job or you could work remotely and for gossiping small towns are known for this and I'm sure they talk about everyone it's par for the course they don't have anything else to talk about not even their own lives and who cares what others think or how they behave it's not affecting your mutual love with your boyfriend you can't please everyone and why would you want to their talk is a bunch of foolish gibberish now if you truly love your boyfriend then be open carefree and spontaneous with him and if he is as wonderful as you make him out to be, I'd say he's the one. And even with your grandmother stating that marrying for love is perfectly fine and natural. A good solid foundation built of love is better than a big house on the hill with only the love of money inside. I wouldn't trade your boyfriend who you love for the rich guy any day. He has only money to give you and money is lost and spent all the time. But true love is grander than the biggest mansion. Maggie, we do wish you an easy decision and hopefully you will recognize which man suits you best. Much success and follow your wonderful heart in this decision. Today's quotes are, keep a sharp eye on the game and not the money. Money will pass away, but the game will play on. By Michael Bassey Johnson. And money, if it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. By Helen Gurley Brown. And one more, wanna see how people really are? Wait till money is involved. That's by an unknown author. So, how did you enjoy Maggie's story today? Just scroll down and leave your comment, question, or even the answer to Maggie's dilemma. You know, we humans enjoy stories. They are important to our lives because they can help us to better understand our world, communicate, and connect with other people. And you, right now, can make a huge difference in Maggie's life by sharing your feelings and advice for her in the comments section below. And remember that by liking and subscribing to Life Happened, you will hear me read letters every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which people send us, detailing their issues in their everyday lives. These are real-life personal stories, and people want and need to be heard. Also, don't forget, if you have a personal story or issue which you would like to share with us, please send us an email using the email provided in the description box below. It would be great to hear from you. And we accept letters from anonymous authors and we always change people's names to protect their privacy. Also, please watch other videos from Life Happened. They're full of people's emotions and they are great stories to listen to. We thank you for joining us here today where Life Happened. See you next time and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.